This problem looks at actually quite a tricky problem involving angles. Now this is not drawn to scale at all, it's only a sketch and that's done so we can't just measure the angles or spot obvious symmetries without knowing what's going on in the actual diagram itself. Now we've got a regular hexagon and we've also got a square and the question is to find x. Now then, I'm going to begin by finding the size of one of the interior angles of a regular hexagon. Now, if I have a regular hexagon, I know that I can split this shape into one, two, three, four triangles. So therefore the sum of all the interior angles of a hexagon equals four lots of 180, which is 720. So that's the sum of all the interior angles. So one of the angles, just equals 720 divided by 6, because there are 6 of them. And 720 divided by 6 is 120 degrees. So I know that all of these interior angles has a value of 120. They're the same because it's regular. Now then, this is a square. This means that this angle here must be a right angle. However, because this is 120, this is 120, and this is 120, and this whole angle here is 120, then this leftover angle here must be whatever we have to add on to get to 120. So this must be 30. However, the question says find angle x. And this requires one final subtle observation. Now then, this is a square. So this side here and that side there are the same length. But also this side and that side are the same length. Because they're regular and it's a square. So this here is an isosceles triangle. So therefore these two angles must also be the same. So to find x, I do 180 degrees for the triangle, take away the 30, which is 150 degrees. Then to find x, I just share this in two. So 150 divided by two is 75 degrees. So x is equal to 75 degrees.